In this video, we spend our final few days sailing this beautiful boat through Greek waters with a stop at the Temple of Poseidon and then back to the marina. We had spent the last two weeks sailing through the Cyclades Islands in Greece and we started this day in Kia. This was one of my favorite types of places for sailing in Greece. You just med more on the seawall and you have cafes and restaurants right out your back door. I'd like to give a special thanks to Navigar Yachting for making this trip possible. If you're interested in sailing this boat or any of their 300 plus boats and their 12 destinations worldwide, go to navigar-yachting.com and use code DOODLE for 300 off your next charter. Kind of a nice little calm day. It's not gonna be much wind, two or three knots, so we motoring today for sure, but we, love, we like this little town. I love Kia. It's cute. And there's like, I love little cafes and restaurants on the water and, it's actually been pretty nice weather, so it's been really enjoyable. Yeah, like uh, this is what I, it's kind of what I w wanted to do a little more of on this trip. We just, just sitting by the water, yeah, drinking I mean, wine and just hanging out. Yeah, like our boat's right here on the, on the wall and then across from that's the cafe where we're drinking some wine. Yeah. Out. But, you know. Can't nice. get better than that. Yeah, so. Uh, so this little gullet, not little, it's a big gullet next to us. Some of them's gullet, gullet, whatever. Gullet. Um, they're, uh, once, that's a pretty cool boat, um, big one. Uh, once upon a time I had um, dreams of maybe buying something like that and uh, turning it into like a kind of around the world charter boat type thing, you know what I mean? So bring guests on and rent cabins out as we cruise around the world, but yeah, that's probably a lot more trouble than I want to deal with. But uh, alright, so we're about to get out of here today, going to go over to see the um, Temple of Poseidon that we did not get to see on day one of the trip. <laughs> So, or we're hoping to anyway. And then we'll head on up to the outskirts of Athens a little bit before returning the boat tomorrow. There were four or five other boats next to us overnight. They're gone now already. Uh, we had lunch uh, at the cafe there. But I mean, it was literally to stay here and hook up to power it was 20 euro a night, right? And I mean, that's just amazing. That's what I love about the med. It's just, it's so cheap to med more and stuff like that. I mean, you can anchor out there for free, but you know, med more for 20 euros, you get power, and then it's so easy to get off and on to go to the little cafes and stuff like that. But we're getting out of here now. She thought she saw a shark. It's a dolphin. Dolphin. Are they with us? Nah, I don't think so. I think they were hunting. Here, look at him. Oh, oh, okay. When you only see a fin go down, and you only see one of it, it looks like a shark. Okay. She's afraid of sharks. True to the forecast, there was only about five knots of wind, but up ahead we could see the Temple of Poseidon on the cliff. We had tried to see the temple on our first day of sailing, but it was closed for a public holiday. Being closed, it did allow us to take these great drone shots. How was your nap? Good. All right, Pebbles. Oh, shut up. All right, here we are in the shadow of uh, Poseidon's Temple, uh, Temple of Poseidon, whatever you want to call it. Uh, glad we get to come back and see it. Part two. Part two. Hopefully they don't close down. We they were we were discussing should we just go ahead and eat now or and then and like no, what if they close early? Just go see it and we'll eat. What time is it right now? One. 
Alright, let's do it. Yep, 111. Alright, let's try this again, hiking up there and see if we can go see it. That's a good sign that the uh, entrance is open. All right, so it's 10 euros a person, uh, five for under 25. And if you're European, under 25, it's free. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, it's free? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Interesting. This basically was, uh, dates back to fifth century BC. Most of this was built. Pretty interesting. That was like, I guess, the pinnacle of Greek society back then. So we're at the southernmost tip of the Greek mainland right here. So you can see, I mean, so these islands here are about 15 miles of uh, uh, far away and so you could probably see it on a clear day I mean 60 70 miles uh, right now because it's a bit hazy out there you probably see 20 25 miles um, and so be a good way for Athens so the city-state of Athens which is just north of here uh, you know on the mainland it's where they controlled basically the sea routes headed west into the Aegean Sea that way and further east down the Mediterranean um, so this was kind of their you know, that's why you can see why they put this here is to kind of show off. I mean, because I imagine you can see this thing from miles, you know, 20 miles away, right? And so, be a good projection of power. Wow, you can see every single boat out here. Just do a three full, like, well, that's not really 360. What would you consider that, like so 180? Panoramic. Or 270 degrees. Yeah. But I mean, that's why this spot was so important, because you could see every boat basically coming from any direction. Yeah, it's a good tanning spot, too. I wanted to get a little tan out. <laughs> and boats were pretty slow back then, especially, and they can only go really, they couldn't really sail into the wind. So, you know, you could see the boats coming from a long time off. So this is the little village that they had right below it. Um, you know, all these build, all these things used to be somebody's homes and buildings and shops and all that stuff. And I think what you see here dates back to like the second century BC. After a nice hike and tour, we headed down to the water for a cafe stop and then back to the boat. Successful day here in the shadow of uh, Poseidon's Temple. Now we're gonna pull up anchor and head to our next spot, our last anchorage of the trip. Leaving all my worries, I prepare for something new. Whatever it was that helped. The winds picked up just a little bit after lunch, and so we were able to sail. Holding on to long and on resolved questions hold you down. What could have been a friendly smile has turned into a frown. I'm moving on. With 10 knots of breeze and calm seas, it was a pretty relaxing sail. On and on. I'm moving on and on. On and on. I'm driving. My car, the road is long and full of dust. The landscape changes around me. On and on, I feel I'm lost. 
Yeah, the wind picked up just enough to be sailing. We're only doing four and a half knots, but I mean, come on, it's nice and peaceful out here. It's our last day on the water, so why not spend the last leg of it sailing in? Well, we got tomorrow, but it, uh, it's supposed to be pretty light winds in the morning, so we're sailing right now, though. It was about 10 miles up the east side of the mainland near Athens. It's so peaceful. Made it to a nice little calm bay. We are just gonna go ashore and uh, get takeout tonight. Uh, have a glass of wine, we're waiting on that, and then head back to the boat and have a one last night, chill night on the boat. So, not bad. And then tomorrow, it's actually pretty short. We're only like four or five miles from the marina. This is the mainland of Greece, by the way. So, back to the mainland. It was our final day on the boat and we were up early to get moving. She was out there alone on the highway. She had a broken wing, she's trying to hang. <laughs> I look so good. <laughs> she looks great. It's our last morning, last day on the boat, uh, getting up going. We only got about five miles to go today. Uh, there's only about six knots of wind. So we're gonna leave a couple hours early because we sail all the way back. We'll only do about three knots, but whatever, it'll be a nice, easy day. You ready? I'm ready. With electric winches and furling, it was pretty easy to get the boat sailing. We weren't going fast, but in conditions like this, who cares? It's uh, <clears throat> pretty nice being back out on a sailboat. Um, gone back and forth on it a lot lately. I think definitely going back to a sailboat. I like the motor yacht, but you know, each has its pluses and minuses. I just think the positives of a sailboat outweigh, um, you know, I, I just think there's more benefits being on a sailboat than there is on a motor yacht. So, gonna go back to that, I believe. As far as catamaran versus monohull, I don't know. Uh, I think, okay, if you're just looking strictly for great sailing and, you know, uh, handle all weather and everything really well, then a monohull like this is the way to go. But I want to, I mean, it, it's extremely comfortable too. Don't get me wrong. It's just, I think, underway. Yeah, it's the, you know, the girls didn't like the healing too much. I think, you know, on a cat, you're a little more even keel the whole way when you're sailing. So I think I'm going to go with cat. And, uh, you know, like I said, I mean, well, it, it's a well-known, uh, I don't think it's a proverb or anything, but if the, the, the girls are happy, then the guys are happy, you know? So, if they're happier in the catamaran, there you go. So, what'd you think, Steph? How do you like the boat? How do you like the monohull? I love sailing. I love sailing. It's so calm and peaceful, and, you know, sailing around Greece was so cool. Um, I'm sad to leave the boat. I mean, I love the dark side. If only I had had sails, I'd be, yeah. you know. So you've done a little bit on a catamaran, just what, like six days? I did, I, we did some time on a catamaran, like six days, and then we did. Oh, the BVI, that's yeah, true. BVI. So what do you, how do you like sailing better? 
how do, what do you mean? Like, how do I like a monohull versus a catamaran? You always ask me this question. I, with a monohull, you're doing a little more of this. Whereas like with a cat, I, I don't think you do a lot of healing over. Um, I don't know. I like both. I can't, I can't say that one's better than the other. I don't know. <laughs> but I did like this boat a lot. It was beautiful and um, there's so much room and uh, definitely really easy to sail. I mean like compared to the times me and Bobby have sailed on other boats like catamarans and doing the Heineken regatta, like I think this boat's probably the easiest one to sail. Yeah, it, uh, for sure. I mean, it, uh, I mean, everything's electronic, right? I mean, all the winches are electric. I mean, you're not actually putting muscle into anything. Yeah, you're not, you're not manually, um, you know, in the winch. It's, I mean, you can single hand sail this boat, no problem. Uh, you know, it's, and it's got bow thruster, stern thruster, super easy to handle. I was a little worried about med mooring because I'd never actually done it. I mean, it's actually I, not as, I mean, when you oh, first do easy. it, when you first do it, you don't, you know, of course, like anything you first try, yeah. it's a little like you don't know what you're doing. But honestly, after doing it for a while, I mean, I feel totally comfortable doing it now. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's, do, it's doable. It's fine. Yeah. yeah. Yep. All right. Well, we got about a mile left to uh, the marina. We're doing 3.2 knots. So <laughs> we got about 20 minutes. We're just going to sit back and enjoy the sail. We're back. Yeah, turning her in. Kind of sad. Could do it. Could have used another two weeks. Beauty. What an adventure. Could have used another two weeks. <laughs> or three. What do you think, Steph? Keep going. Shall we? My Captain Ron. Just Cap just Captain Ron, Ron, just like. Let's just keep going. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever happens, happens out there in the open ocean. <laughs> it's gonna happen, it's gonna happen out there. Yeah. <laughs> I made him watch Captain Ron the other day. That was good. Loved it. It's the first movie that Bobby recommended that we actually liked. <laughs> So how was it guys? It's so been fun. awesome. Amazing, beautiful, gorgeous. We uh yes you guys all are. Oh. I'm gonna miss the feeling of sailing. Yeah. So See? peaceful. Don't you love it? It's so peaceful. Not gonna be rocked to the core anymore. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it was successful. Two weeks went by fast. I know. Um um Greece. 100% recommend it, especially on a boat. You can go wherever you like. It's really cheap. You'd be surprised. It's really worth getting an, a ticket, like an airplane ticket. Yeah, so like, yeah, we, uh, so one dinner we did was, I mean, with wine and everything was 52 euros for four people. It's you know? crazy. Yeah, and it was, you know. Was that like 60 US dollars? Yeah, like 50 bucks. Or no, 60 bucks, sorry. Yeah. We had appetizers and main yeah. courses. And wine. And it's just crazy. And so it's so much cheap. Like you go to the, the BVI or the Virgin Islands, you can expect to pay like one fifty. Well, no, at least fifty fifty dollars a person for dinner and yeah. drinks, and you know, and then everything else. Plus, then you're going to pay for the mooring, uh, forty dollars a night, or if you get a marina, it's two hundred fifty to four hundred dollars a night. Yeah, I mean, Whereas this, we were at med marinas, more for med, like eight dollars or free. Half the place, half the half the places we met more, we didn't pay a cent. Also, the half, islands are euros. very close to each other, yeah. so we did so many. In yeah. We had so many islands and maybe like if you just sail it's like two three hours i mean so, i think our longest sail was like what seven hours six hours six seven hours. hours yeah but like that was because it was rough conditions yeah. and we were just we we're trying to get away from the weather yeah but uh yeah so if you want to come here to greece go to navigar-yachting.com and use co coupon code doodle for 300 bucks off I mean, your service has been amazing. Yeah. yeah. I mean, also, the people here take care of you. Always a phone call away, which is super nice. Like, if something happens. Even during the call. holidays. Yeah. 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 And it was, the girls really liked it because they put like a free Wi Fi hotspot on the boat. So oh, yeah. Yeah. Always have wi -Fi. <laughs> yeah it it's nice. awesome. So now we're going to go to Athens for about four or five days and check it out there. We'll bring you along for little bits of it.
Actually, we did film a two-episode travel vlog and put it on our sister channel, Glamping Doodles. There's a link down in the description, and I'd really appreciate it if you go over there, check out the video, and be sure to subscribe. We took you on a tour through the Acropolis and all the sights to see in Athens.